So, computers, right? Over the past few decades, computers came from this all the way down to this, with this much processing power back then, to this much today. In fact, you're probably using a computer right now that's more powerful than some of the best options on the market 10 years ago. But what if I told you that Algodoo, the program used to build marble races, algo sathlons, and more, the program on your computer, can build its own computers. If you want Algodoo videos like this, subscribe and click the bell. You'll be there when new videos come out. When I talk about computers and how Algodoo can make them, yeah, that program is supposed to be a thing where people run physics simulations, but now what people do is just build more marble races, Algodoo lines, camps, and whatever Algodoo boxes are these days. I mean, what happened to this place? Sorry, I just don't know what causes such a thing. I mean, Algodoo is such a great program, and Algobox is a great platform for that program, but some people think it's just one correct way to do it. Seriously, there's so much good stuff if you look past that and see the cars, games, and such more. Anyways, computers. What if I told you to make functional computers in a program called Algodoo? Think it's too hard? Think again! Plenty of other creators have made quote-unquote computers instead of other programs. With this one by LPG, which could be a word processor, calculator, and day and night controller. In this case, a calculator in Super Mario Maker by Helgefen. Well, while this computer in Algodoo will not be as fancy as some ones in Minecraft, I mean, some of these are insane, it won't be as nearly basic as a calculator. At its most basic level, Algodoo is just a program. Granted, a physics simulator program that can execute code to make amazing simulations that have accurate physics, or to simulate a bunch of models moving around in a course, your choice. However, when you can create a computer and set up a program, you have made something more. You can create something that can run algorithms in this thing, or a set of algorithms. In fact, Algodoo is just a combination of algorithm and do. Coincidence? I think not. Algodoo can theory run other programs, including computers. There is a limit to this, which is kind of annoying when you want to make big things, but in theory, you can make any type of program and type of program. Like I said though, this will not be as complicated as some of the other things people have managed to create on other programs like Minecraft, but we can still make a computer on Algodoo. Now, before we go further into this, we need to define what a computer is. At its fundamental level, a computer is just a programmable machine. The two things that a computer can do are respond to a specific set of instructions and execute a list of instructions, also known as a program. Computers generally have a few things. There is memory, allowing computers to store data temporarily, a storage device, which can take many forms but allows data to be stored permanently, sending data instructions to the input devices, things you want to show what the computer did or output, and finally, a central processing unit, also known as a CPU, which does all the work I mentioned above. Now, this is a very simplified model for the sake of explanation, but that's what many computers require to do everything from making computers to running Algodoo, to even you watching this video. Over time, we have transformed from this to modern computers. Computers have become faster and easier to use with the rise of more processing power and graphical user interfaces. But at the most basic level, the computer from today is not that much different from the one in 1984. With that, how do you even make a basic computer in Algodoo? Now, we'll show you how it's done, why it works, and show how complicated things can get in Algodoo and how it'll reach new heights. That's right, let's go back in time to make basic computers. The last time I was discussing about Algodoo, I was talking about marble races. How easy we would build one, the first one is on Algabox, and how to make an infection version. Now, Algodoo is a lot more than marble races. As you can see here, this scene titled, Little PC 1.0, by a user named Little on Algabox, has made a computer in Algodoo. Now, a lot like you thinking, but how is this a computer? It's just a screen you can type on. Well, it may look like that, but when you look under the hood, it is much more. Taking off the cover, I recreate the entire thing bit by bit, switch by switch, all of it. This will help you understand how the computer operates, how it works, and how far it can go. The computer has the stuff that I talked about above. It has memory, which is the variable that stores text, a storage device, which are the little disks, the computer keys as an input device, the monitor as an output, and the CPU, the thing that does it all, are the switches in the machine. 
If you want to do anything on this computer, you just need to press a button. For example, you want an A on the computer, press the A, and boom, you have an A on the screen. This applies to all other keys, including 0 to 9, and some other special ones we'll get back to later. Now this gets to one of the first big limitations of this computer. You may be wondering why there are no capital letters and spaces, plus why you can't delete keys, since they're so common in today's computers. Well, this comes down to the fact that you can only have one key, and only one key, as an input to be assigned to. For a space key and delete key, they don't exist. The keys A and Shift on your computer will create an app capital A on your screen, but in this computer, those keys create two different outputs. Imagine you have two buttons, and they are linked to two outputs. If you press one, you get one on the screen. The button one is your input, and the number one on the screen is the output. This means if you want to have two buttons as the output, you can't do it. The computer can't recognize that when you press A and Shift, that they're all one input, and as such, it'll think it's two separate inputs, and as you put an A on the screen, and then you go back to the home page. Now you know what the Shift key does. You also seen right now that I can't type too fast on this computer. I type a lot faster than this, okay? Well, these switches have a limit on how fast it can be. All these switches do not technically make a CPU. They are similar to vacuum tubes, which are less efficient than CPUs that are transistor based. These switches have a limit on how fast you can put a character on the screen. If you type fast enough, the keys get pressed for such a short time that the switches don't have the time to set your signal to put the key on the screen. And hence, you are missing characters. Something similar happens when you try to hold on to a key and try to have a punch it on the screen. You can't register the held key. All this was made on Algadoo to make a machine that can write some text. In the beginning of the video, we have stated that a computer can respond to a specific set of instructions and execute a list of those instructions, also known as a program. Well, this computer can do that, but at a much slower rate that modern computers can do these days. To do the things that the computers we have today, it would take a lot more time for this computer. This is also assuming that this computer can run for an infinite amount of time, which it can't do the processing power limitations. Algodoo would stop long before that time. You can say this computer is limited in many different aspects, but many computers have those same limitations. Even the best computers in the world have those limitations, although they are much higher than this Algodoo computer. Everything in this file was made to make a computer that can write some text, making this computer program, Algodoo, able to make its own computers. We'll be discussing about more advanced computers and how little discs work in another episode. Subscribe so you won't miss future videos like it.